the security forces in the capital and across the country now on high alert. Following threats from the Pakistan Taliban, it will launch suicide bombings in retaliation for the killing of its leader. In these rare pictures of Hakimullah Massoud, he fools around with fellow fighters. Rest and recuperation for a man responsible for hundreds of attacks across Pakistan, including the shooting of the schoolgirl Malala Yousafzai. But in a BBC interview filmed just weeks before his death, he did indicate he was potentially interested in peace talks with the government. We believe in talks, but the government's taken no serious steps to approach us. The government needs to sit with us, then we'll present our conditions. The news of his death in a U.S. drone strike may be welcomed by many here who've seen the suffering he's caused. But there is also anger he was killed just as hope was rising that peace talks could soon get underway. And perhaps most angry is this man, the interior minister who was leading the government's efforts to draw the Pakistan Taliban into peace talks. First and foremost, the government of Pakistan does not see this drone attack as an attack on an, on an individual, but as an attack on the peace process. This is the scale of the violence the people of Pakistan have been facing as the Taliban's pursued a relentless campaign of bombings and shootings, killing and injuring thousands. The government believed peace talks were the best way to stop this bloodshed. But now the government says the Americans have ruined the chances of those talks taking place. And today it summoned the US ambassador to protest. The government is also even considering the possibility of blocking the routes through Pakistan used by NATO to send fuel and other goods to its forces inside neighboring Afghanistan. This is one of the men now being discussed by the Pakistan Taliban as a potential new leader, Khan Saeed Sajna. He's thought to be less hardline than Massoud. But the death of Massoud is a big blow for the militant movement, and right now they are unlikely to be interested in talking about peace. Richard Galpin, BBC News, Islamabad.